back today and I'm going to be doing a video on this look. And I call it like my holiday or my new and updated nighttime look because my eyes are different. I've been doing something completely different with my eyes and I think you guys will, um, will like it because it's really easy and it's a big change for me. And with a nude lip, pinky cheeks and these curls. What I'm trying to go for is like those 20s uh, Veronica Lake looking curls that are kind of all meshed together, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, so this is kind of my version or my take of it, where all the curls are kind of going like the same way. Um, if you guys are interested in this look, keep watching, and um, yeah. The only thing I have on my face right now is this ROC wrinkle, deep wrinkle filler, and it has retinol correction in it, and I know that's supposed to be good for wrinkles and things. I don't have any wrinkles on my face. I might have like some wrinkles when I smile, but I think everyone does. I just use this for preventative um, purposes. And the only thing, other thing other than, um, that I use daily is this instant facial smoother. And I just feel like it makes um, my face not, like it kind of preps and primes my face more. I think it's for um, to fill deep pores and things, but I don't feel like I really have that. Um, I just use it more as a primer, and I know it's a good product, so or a good brand, so I trust it more than using like a a makeup or a cosmetic brand. So I just use about that much, and I'm just gonna put it in the areas that I shine a lot in, because I feel like it does take away a lot of the shine and just preps my skin. And I'm not too thorough about it just kind of like on the front of my face. And it just makes my face very matte. My foundation, I, li I like that as well, but I feel like this one is a little bit better. It has the Touche Ecl Clay in it, and it's Touche Clay is that, um, is this pen. I think a lot of people probably know about it. It kind of gives a little highlights and things on your face. I don't love this actually. Um, this is like my second time trying it because I felt like the first time I tried it, I just didn't get it, and then I tried it again, and I still don't get it. So it just it has doesn't really do anything for me. I feel like, but I do like the YSL Touche Eclay um, foundation, and I got it in number B60. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the palm of my hand. I just do a squirt, and then sometimes I do a squirt and a half, but not usually. And I'm honestly, I don't feel like my skin really needs it. I only use it uh, just to kind of even out my skin, and cover maybe some of the freckles, because I do have freckles, but I'm not too thorough with it because I don't, really feel like I need it, but it does, you know, obviously smooth my skin out. Then I'm just going to take this Chanel brush that I recently bought, and I feel like everyone uses these brushes to kind of make sure that you don't have any, uh, or that your foundation is kind of smoothed in, and this woman used it on me at, on the makeup counter, and I kind of liked it, so I bought it, and maybe it was a kind of a dumb buy. But what I actually do with it that I can justify keeping it is I use my Touche Clay, so I'll, I'll just show you what I do with it. And I got this in, this YSL Touche Clay. I think I got it in number two, it says. So I'm just gonna do this. And I know you can use it other places, like you know, on your nose and things, but I don't really do that. And then instead of using my fingers, I find that this brush kind of um, makes it appear more. I feel like when I use my finger, I wipe it all away. So I actually like this brush for just finishing my face. I feel like it gives it a, a slightly more flawless look. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows, and I actually was looking at some of my old videos the other day, and I don't recommend you guys doing that because I was looking at my old videos in comparison to my new videos, or my most recent videos, and I noticed such a huge difference with my eyebrows. I really overplucked my eyebrows when, when I first started YouTube because when I was living in China, I just got my eyebrows done there and they made them very, very thin, and I just, I don't know why, and I just kept them up like that. And 
this like seriously changed my face. So I have tried, I've grown in my eyebrows as much as possible. This is as much as they'll grow in. And I actually accentuate them more. Anastasia kit, and this is the blonde, blonde kit. And then I take this uh, MAC brush, number 266. It's my favorite eyebrow brush. I have multiple different kinds of eyebrow brushes, and I feel like this MAC one is the best one. So this is my palette. It's like a super big mess, and it's almost empty. I used to use the wax when I needed it, when I needed to fill in holes and things, but I don't need that anymore because my eyebrows are pretty much grown in. So I'm just going to take a kind of a mixture of the dark and the light blonde. And just make a line like this. And then brush up from there. So I kind of use what I had on that line to fill in the brow. So that's that. Next I'm going to take this L'Oreal Volu Voluminous, Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and it's in the black color. It's this kind of thick chubby pencil and I really like it because it's really easy to work with. And I'm just going to line the top waterline. I like to get it really dark because with this look that I've been doing lately, I'm not going to use any eyeliner other than this one. And for me, I don't go all the way to my tear duct because I think I just produce a lot of tears and so if I look in the mirror later, I'll have black in my eyes and I can't stand that. So I try to keep away from the tear duct. I'll probably stuff like a quarter of the way um, down. For daytime, if I was going to do this look for daytime, I wouldn't line the bottom lash line or the bottom water la well, tear, tear line, but I will for this look. And I'm only going to go halfway through. So for my cheeks, I'm going to use this MAC um, blush, and it's just a really kind of light pink. I think it's very natural. I've had it for a while, and it's the name is Dame, and I do go back to it and use it. I think it's just the perfect kind of pink cheek tint. I'm going to go back with my airbrush brush and just kind of smooth it in. Blend it together. So here's the exciting part, and you guys probably know that I hardly ever wear eyeshadow. If, it's, if I'm going to wear eyeshadow, it's going to be like a very nude color or just something really, really natural. But I actually picked up this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Studio. It's like a, a color pot, and I just love it. I talked about it before somewhere, maybe on Instagram or something like that, I remember, and someone told me, if you like this, you should go out and try the Chanel ones. So I just want to talk to you guys about that too. I went out and bought the number 85, um, in, number 85 in the Chanel kind of like liquid eye, eyeshadow or something pot, and I thought I was going to just, you know, be blown away, and I'm definitely not. I'm totally going to return this because it was expensive and it smears. This one by Maybelline was like, I don't know, five or six dollars and it's a 24 hour, it says color tattoo and it is exactly that. It doesn't smear or crease or anything. I love it. So definitely go with this um, color tattoo. And I got the, I guess it's number 15 asphalt, something asphalt. And this is what it looks like. I wish they had a black, a black one because the Chanel is a black one with like glitter in it. This is equally as pretty, it's just a little bit lighter. 
and just massage it into the side. And this is a big step for me too because you guys know I never wear eyeshadow. <laughs> I think it's really pretty for the holidays too, and especially at night, it really makes my um, eyes pop. So that's all I do. I feel like it's the easiest thing and it really gives such a dramatic look. I love it. Then to take it a step further, I'm gonna take this little brush and I got this at the face shop years and years ago. It's just an angled brush. And I like it because it's very kind of short and it's easy to use because the, the um, bristles are so short. I'm just going to just dab it in here and then I'm going to run it along my waterline a little bit and just kind of smear it on the side of my, almost like you're going to make it a cat eye but not really. And that's it. I could put a little bit of eyeliner on, but I don't want to. I feel like that it starts looking really cakey, and for me, this is already a lot of makeup, and I just like it because I feel like my face is natural, and the eyes are smoky, and I don't want to go a step further with the eyeliner because I'll start to feel like too made up. This is my favorite mascara, Lash Blast by CoverGirl. It's still definitely my favorite mascara. So after I've done my first coat of mascara, for those of you who've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I'm going to go and do about one or two more coats just on the um, outside lashes, on the, on the lashes that are on like the sides of my face. So just like this side. I just feel like when I put more mascara on the sides of my eyes, it looks more like a butterfly, almost like fake lash look. So that's that. My eyes are finished, my face is finished, and I'm just for my lips. For my lips during the day, what I've been doing is wearing my YSL Rouge Volupte in number 30. And I've had this for a couple years now. I love it, and it uh, tastes like melon or whatever, something. So I've been using this during the day, um, and I've been using this Laura Mercier in Rose Quartz. And I I think this was like a Sephora limited edition or something like that um, because a lot of you asked me about it but I don't know if it's available. Um, this is what it looks like. It's almost like a peachy coral nude color. I really like it. So if I was going to wear this during the day or this at night, I have a weird technique that I've been doing. Actually, I've been doing this even with, even with my red lipstick. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you would have seen that I do this with um, my red lipsticks too. Probably any lipstick. I don't know. So I just don't like the look of makeup in general. I don't know why, I just don't. So what I do is I'm gonna, this is what it looks like when you put it on. So I'm just gonna take my finger and basic, basically rub it off. And just leave the kind of color of it <laughs> Just leave the color of it, not the actual lipstick all over my lips, if that makes sense. That's what I do for a matte lip, and I really like the way that looks, but then I got this the other day, and it's the Chanel, um, it's number 164, I believe it's a new color, I think it might be, I'm not sure, and it's just like a really pretty milky pink, it has no sparkle or anything in it, so if you want a really kind of glossy, sexy lip, you, I would definitely recommend getting this and using it with any of your nude colors. That's the makeup look. So I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I do my hair, and I hope you guys watch because I get a lot of questions about how I do my curls and things like that, and I've definitely changed the way I did them. Um, a couple, I guess in all my, I haven't showed you guys how I do my curls in a while. So um, I've been trying this 
this new way for a while now. It's taken me kind of a long time to, per to you know, perfect it, even though I haven't perfected it at all. And you want any kind of tips or tricks from you guys, I'm trying to get the wave that you see like in the old Hollywood movies where it kind of just waves like that like perfectly, and I still can't achieve it, but this is the closest I'm able to get it. So I'm gonna show you what I do, um, and I'll be right back. So I'm just gonna put half up and half down on my hair. And I'm just going to brush out both sides. Then I'm going to take my Elnet um, hairspray and just spray both sides. And I'm not going to really be too fussy about it. And then I'm going to take my little cheap Con Air one inch barrel curling iron. I think I got this at Target for like $10 and it works fine. So I'm just gonna take kind of a big section of my hair because I don't want the curls to be too ringlety. There's Bob. He's not supposed to be over here. He's not allowed to be in my room, but he like sneaks past. Anyway, so I'll move over here so you can see him maybe. So I'm going to take about, uh, you know, a good handful of my hair. I'm going to take my barrel. It's getting into mischief. And I'm going to wrap it away from my face. And what I've learned is that I better leave out about a little over an inch or it's going to look too ringlety. I hope that makes sense. And if I'm doing this wrong, if you guys have any tips for me, I would be like so grateful because I'm kind of just asking around when I see people um, on Instagram or whatever whose hair I think is pretty and I ask them what they do and I try to do it. So then I'm gonna drop the curl in my hand and let it cool. Just for a couple seconds and drop it. And that's what it looks like. I feel like that's a pretty good curl. So then I'm gonna take about, I'm gonna split the next two. I'm gonna drop it in my hand. So that's one side and I'm going to leave it like this right now and notice how all of the curls kind of match up. That's what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to go for that, I told you, like old Hollywood look I guess and then when I brush it out it kind of looks really full and glamorous and so yeah. So here's the difference between this side and this side and I'm going to go ahead and do this side and I'm going to drop the rest of my hair down and show you the rest. Okay so both of the sides are finished now. And when I drop this down, I'm going to show you how to do this side now because I showed you how I was twisting this side and I believe this one's going to be different. <laughs> should be. Okay, so for this side, I'm just going to take a chunk kind of close to my face so that you can see it well. I'm going to take the wand and I'm going to roll it in and away from my face. And I was doing the curl the opposite way for a while and the curl was ending up looking really strange. So make sure to watch the way I curled. I um, held the wand and twisted the hair around it because I feel like it makes better curls the way I've done. Uh, so you don't have to make the same mistakes I did, I mean. So I made like the perfect kind of ringlet. And I'm not trying to go for a ringlet look, so I think I might have left it in too long, but...
So now I'm just going to brush it out. That's it. And so now I'm going to go back and there's pieces like that that I don't like. After I've, see this side I feel like lays really nicely, but this side there's a little bit of a problem. So the pieces that are kind of awkward I'm just going to take and redo. Sometimes the problem is, is that you need to make, I need to take a smaller piece of hair for the top row so that the curl shows a little bit more. So now I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to blow dry out just these, these two kind of front pieces of my hair. I'm going to take my round brush and I'm going to blow them back like this. And when I come back I'll have like a really kind of blown out soft look in the front and these like holiday curls I call them, like 20s curls, modern 20s curls um, everywhere else. So that's it. That's the look. And the curls are even prettier on the second day because I feel like I've been touching them all day long and the oils from my hands kind of set, set, settles in my hair. I don't put any more product on my hair after this. I just don't really like to put product. I don't like the feeling of product and I haven't felt, found one that, I, um, that just works. I just feel like it's, it's fine like this. Tomorrow, um, I will wake up though and spray some of my Sasha One hair mist in it, ocean mist that I use, and you guys can um, you won't you'll see you've seen me uh, use those and other use that product in other videos. So that's a look. I hope you guys like it. Um, doing like a darker eye is really different for me, so I hope um, you guys uh, thought it was worth the watch. And I hope everyone has a great day and um, great holiday and everything. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.